What's up everybody, it's the program here and today we are starting a new series so let me tell you a bit uh, of what the series is going to be about so the series is called Recap and what that means is obviously you know what Recap means and um, we're going to be taking a look at our previous visit to um, to different places like obviously Freddy Fazbear's Pizza for this episode but we'll be going to different places visiting there and recapping what we've seen, what we've heard things that you might have missed, things that I might have missed um, and watch the video back and and uh, talk a little bit about it. Also there'll be a part in this video where I'll look for the comments and see what uh, you people you uh, people say about the, um, the video so yeah let's get into it. So for this episode we'll be looking back at obviously our last visit which is um, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, another visit, more proof. Um, we're going to take a look at that video and look at some things that you might have missed that I might have missed. Um, and yeah, let's try it, let's get into it. So, straight off the bat, we go into the thread um, that was like, written on the walls. A lot of people are saying it, if it was blurred, it would turn brown. Uh, obviously, it's it turned brown. It's, if you look at the video before that, the blue of the thread was red but then it turned brown in this video um, I'll put a picture of the difference what the difference is now so um, also we couldn't obviously if it was paint we can't paint over it because it's exactly the same as the one before that so there's no way we could have painted over it with brown obviously it turned brown after that and blood does turn brown after an hour or two which is almost 95% sure that's brown uh that's blood sorry so also something really really terrifying happened i don't know if this was something to do with something going past the window in the reflection i don't know if it was something to do with something going past i don't understand but in this clip here you see a shadow which looks like a human shadow and you see it move when i'm, I'm close up to it i'll show you a clip now so yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Okay. Let's do it. So I look back at that and I did not see it when I was making the video I, um, when I was recording I noticed it when I was editing the video and um, I thought what was that was that what I think it was or was that just something going past the window or something I had no idea what it was I didn't want to think of the worst of what it could be you obviously all know what it could be but um, a lot of people So a lot of people were saying it was uh, Brett, but when I was making that video, Brett was in the manager's room, which is on the right. If you take a look back at that video, which I'll show you now, you see Brett come out of the manager's room. And a lot of people were saying that scared me, Brett was behind me. But he was in the manager's room the whole time, which was the room on the right, not behind me or anything. You see in the video him coming out and closing the door and everything. So, Okay, so the next thing we noticed was that there was claw marks on the side of, um, I don't actually know what it was, it looks like an elevator, but there was actually a claw going downwards on that, um, a claw, like a hand claw mark go, going downwards, and that would be pretty much impossible to do, like you'd have to go up, so I don't know how you do that, um, but there was more handprints and footprints on the whole thing, um, but the handprint, the like, claw mark was really terrifying and it could have been anything someone could have made that but that was also very terrifying um, I'd have a clue that what that could have been there's also more scraps it's going light now there's also more scraps in the room um, where we found the like obviously the pieces of you know what um, and it looks like there was fluff like the kind of same thing of what was what was there before um, but the scrap we looked for the scraps and there was actually nothing 
pretty much there that we could have found or anything but it was just more scraps there and the fluff was very familiar went into the room um that you say you saw a reflection of bonnie or whoever it was we went back in the room and there was nothing in there there was um we looked in the reflection, we looked in everywhere, we looked in the room itself and there was nothing in there. Last time we went in there, we looked for the door. We didn't actually look around the room and in the reflection it looked like a face. Obviously I didn't notice it but everyone, all of you did. But we looked back there and there was nothing in the room. So Also something really creepy. There was fire damage in one room. But next to that and on the other room as well. There looked to be blood, like blood all down the, uh, you know how blood comes down like strips, like blood like that. Um, it did not, the fire damage doesn't usually go like that, but it was brown and it was going down like strips. That could have been blood, but obviously we have no idea what it, what it actually was. I don't remember that being there before. Was it? No. In the, twen in the a massive amount of bits we've been there, that was never there before. So it, I don't, I doubt it was fire damage. I really doubt it was fire damage. Um, but that could have been, that could have been blood going down, because blood does go down like that, doesn't it? Blood doesn't go down like that. It goes down like, you know, you know. Yeah. So a lot of you was asking what happened with the police. The police did come across. Um, they came. Well, obviously we heard it. You heard it on the camera, and we heard them come in. And it was luckily it was just as we was coming out. So we had time to just go and by the time they got there we was long gone. So a uh, close call but um, that's why we only stayed there for 15, 20 minutes, 25 minutes because we can't risk anything. Okay so we're going to end the video with some comments. We're going to look at a few of the comments that you've all been um, posting. Guys you need to do this. Set up the camera in the building overnight then come up back and get the camera, speed up the footage and see if you find anything. The time should be 12am to 6am. We we don't have um, access to any of that sort of equipment. Like, I can't afford cameras that are really, really high tech, especially ones that could last overnight. Like, I can't do that. Um, maybe soon, maybe sometime in the future, but for now, that is not an option. I like watching these videos of Freddy Fazbear's. You are my favourite YouTuber. Thanks, uh, Terrari, Terrari, Terraria Man. Wait, is Terraria your game? I think it is. It's like Minecraft type game, isn't it? I don't know. Um, yeah, thanks. Uh, like I've said before, I don't think I've ever seen this on camera, but we wouldn't be do go in there every like most weeks if we didn't have an audience, if we didn't have people watching. Because if we didn't, we would just never go there. We would go there once or twice, but that's it. If we didn't have people watching, then there would be no point of risking anything. <laughs> so guys, this could be end of recap, part one. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the series. If you do, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Um, we'll be doing a recap uh, video every, every uh, time we go there, after we go there. Um, so look forward to the next one I guess um, and yeah thanks for watching like subscribe uh, comment down below and I'll see you in the next one